Big data is a large set of data in multiple formats. It can be both structured and unstructured data. Thus, conventional system won't be enough to store, manage and analyze this data in specific time interval. Hello learners and welcome to Constant Learners. And in this video, we are discussing the challenges faced by the conventional systems in managing big data. In the previous video, we have already discussed in detail what big data is, what are the different formats in which the data is generated these days. We discussed the three V's of big data, we discussed data analysis, and we also discussed how big data platforms help in collecting cleaning, managing, and analyzing the big data. Data is coming from multiple sources, and all of this data is very important for the business purposes. So, it is necessary to understand the challenges faced by conventional systems so that the businesses can profit. Okay? So, the first challenge is that the data is collected in large quantities and it is not possible to process everything, especially if it is being done manually. Okay, so human efficiency needs to be considered in this case. Okay, a human being cannot manage and process such large quantities of data. The second challenge is that the data must be meaningful and collected in real time. Okay, so whatever data we are collecting, it should be meaningful and it should be collected in real time. That means whatever data is being generated now must be collected now, not later. Okay, we don't want old data. So whatever data we are collecting, it must make sense. We do not want data with irregularities, mistakes or inconsistencies. Also, the data must be collected in real time. We do not want old or outdated data because it can affect the decision making for the businesses. Next point is the data is collected from multiple sources. Okay, as you can see on the screen. So, collecting this data and categorizing it. See, this is an important aspect. Data collection has been done. But now, we need to categorize this data to make sense out of it. Okay? And that is an important aspect of data collection, which can be quite challenging. Suppose a data is being collected on one particular concept or uh, one particular topic like heart diseases. So, some data related to heart diseases can be in the form of text, some can be in the form of images, some can be in the form of videos, some can be in the form of audios. So, it is important to collect all of this data and bring it together because they belong to the same topic or they have the same concept. So, it is important that the data is categorized properly okay so if it is being done manually then it becomes impossible for the uh, human being and if not impossible then it gets extremely challenging because it requires a lot of manpower as well as the time so it can happen that the time taken by the uh, human to categorize this huge quantities of data this time may be so long that the data can be old by the time it is actually being categorized and arranged. Okay, so we don't want that. Next challenging aspect is to collect correct data. Okay, by eliminating the flaws, mistakes, incompleteness, inconsistency, irregularity. So we've already seen this concept in data analysis. This is an important part of data analysis because wrong data or bad data is only going to create problems for the future. 
Now, after the data has been collected and all the other step has been performed, another challenging aspect is comparison of the data using multiple tools. Okay, so the data has been collected in all the different formats, but we need to compare this data to represent it in the form of graphs, charts, statistics, etc., so that the businesses can maximize their benefits. So first, data is in such huge quantities, it is in multiple formats, and we also need to get the data in real time. And now another challenge is that we need to create statistics out of it. This is a complicated job. Now, after the data is collected from multiple sources in real time, and the data is also compared, but what is the use of all of these steps if this data is not accessible. So another challenge is that the decision makers and managers of the respective business organizations must be able to access this data and be able to make the proper decisions that are required. Okay, so the data must be accessible to the uh, respective people. Another challenge can be pressure on the risk managers from the top positions, okay? So the CEOs or CFOs may pressurize the risk managers to get the results related to the data so that they can profit uh, the businesses out of it. So that can lead to pressure on the managers, risk managers. Another challenging aspect can be the lack of knowledgeable professionals who can handle and deal with such diverse and large data, okay? So if there are very little number of knowledgeable professionals, then handling such huge amounts of data and following all the above mentioned steps can be very difficult. So to overcome these challenges and drawbacks, intelligent data analysis is used so that valuable information can be gathered with the help of machines, thus reducing the processing time, cost, as well as the errors, okay? So our target is to achieve the best possible results in minimum time, minimum cost, and with minimum or no errors. I hope that this concept was clear. In the next video, we will discuss the concept of intelligent data analysis. But before that, I request you to please understand what data analysis is because that is the base of all of these concepts, okay? And understand what are the steps required for the data analysis. I will link that video above. If you think this video was helpful, then please, please give it a like. And if you have any suggestions or if you think I can do better, then please leave your suggestions in the comment section below. Also, if you have any questions or any doubts or if you want me to make a video on any particular topic, then please let me know. Please subscribe to my channel for more such content. It helps me. Thank you so much for watching.